Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find the marker with marker in Find the Marker. So what you got to do, you got to head up to this little like, um, like I guess like brick studded area and you're going to head into the cave right here. I'm going to pass those little eggs. You're going to click on this yellow um, button right here and it should open this up for you. Um, and so what you're going to do, you're going to head in here and on this keyboard you're going to type in difficulty. If you don't know how to spell it, it's D-I-F-F-I-C-U-L-T-Y. And then you're going to click on enter. And it should teleport you to another game. And this is called the difficulty, I believe, like chart marker or something. Whatever. Yeah, so there's the runner marker and the uh, difficulty chart marker. The runner marker you can find, I believe, after you complete hard. I believe you get that for free by walking a thousand studs. And then for this one, you have to do the entire obby. So the obby is not easy. It starts extremely easy, but it gets pretty hard pretty fast. So you may have to do a time lapse on this. We'll see how it goes. I don't believe you can sprint in this either. And yeah, we'll just kind of see how it goes. Yeah, so there should only be two markers on this entire map. Uh, some of them have sliding. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff to the obby, so um, some of them are harder than others. Um, so that one does slide, and to kind of like avoid the slide, you can jump. It does help a little bit, and that one simply gives Nia's um, all the um, bright orange stuff, and bright stuff is usually uh, kill bricks. So yeah, the easy one's really easy. Legit, just hop on them. And then for this one, I recommend just jumping. Like, legit, just jump, and just kind of, uh, go with the flow as to what way it goes, so if you're gonna jump left or right, try to go with it instead of against it, because if you go against it, it'll, uh, knock you back to the point where you really can't do anything, to be honest. And these are simply just Neo, you can zoom out if you need to, um, and then some more kill bricks up here, I'm gonna jump over these. I've been able to get past this stage, I haven't gotten past hard yet, but once you do, um, it says you gotta have shift lock, um, go, get on the ladder and go left and forward at the same time, you will slowly slide left, try it, so yeah. Um, it goes all the way over there, as you can tell, there's extremely hard stages, um... Alright guys, we are back in this section of the obby, all you gotta do is just time your jumps so that you land perfectly, and then you should be good, so as you can tell right there, we have now completed that part of the obby, and now we're here, it says, uh, to do this one, you, you gotta have shift like get on the ladder and go left and forward at the same time, you will slow this side left, I believe... There's a checkpoint here. I'm not positive. I'm not too sure to do this one, so if I fail, uh, it kind of is what it is. Yeah, I believe you gotta, like, link onto the ladder, and then it says go left and forward at the same time. You will slowly slide left. So as you can tell, we are currently sliding left, and then we're gonna have to somehow make a jump backwards to this thing. So there is a little slip you can fall through, but simply jump, and there you go. Um, I believe you get the hard marker here. After you complete this, I believe you get it. Not terribly positive, but I believe you get it right here. So in order to actually get the runner marker, you're going to hop on that little red pad right there that I just hopped on on the side of the hard difficulty obby like entrance. And you're going to run down this giant thousand stud um, gray trail. This is how um, how the runner marker ran. He ran a thousand stud run apparently in a minute. So um, you're basically just going to run what he run, ran. It sort of has a storyline. And once you get here all the way down to him, you're going to be able to walk up to him, um, collect him. It should say new marker collected with the badge. And then you can proceed with the rest of the obby. Um, but yeah, so once you get that, just continue your journey through to get the marker. It's marker, and I will speed this part up until we get there.
Alright guys, after almost nearly an hour of doing this obby, the marker is right there. So as you can tell, we finally got the difficulty chart marker. Holy crap. Alright guys, so that is how you get this difficulty chart marker. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, there's not really any tips to the obby, except for the last part. On the orb, you gotta like kind of like face it and like evade out and then back in. As you can tell, I kind of like jumped over it. I'll head back to it so I can show you guys. But as you can tell, I did get both markers. I got the runner marker at the very beginning and the difficulty chart marker. So we have gotten both of those now. And I believe that's the only marker in the game, so this is virtually the hardest marker to get, so I hope this is helpful for you guys. But like I said, um, if you head back over here, really the only tip I have for the obby, uh, this part's pretty easy. You can legit not have the 10 walk down to this, and they'll let you crawl up, jump over these two. You get very, very close to the top, have your avatar straight, turn them, and then kind of evade out and cut back in. And then simply, like I said, just jump on those. It's not necessarily the easiest thing in the world, it does take a little bit of uh, skill, but... That's how you get this marker, is, uh, marker. so I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like on the video, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.